Welcome everyone. My name is Stella and thank you for tuning in to Bibi and Yaya where you will hear real life stories every week which people have sent to us detailing their life experiences, feelings, emotions and reactions along the way. The people who write in to us share their stories in hopes of connecting with others who may be able to give advice, comments and opinions such as yourself. You may have just the right solution to today's personal story. Here on Bibi and Yaya, we will also share our opinions with the hopes that we can help those who share their stories with us. If you have a story to tell, please send us an email by using the email provided in the description box below. And by hitting the thumbs up button, sharing and subscribing to this channel, you can stay up to date with these very personal stories. This helps us to bring you new life stories and adventures every week so you don't miss a thing. Also. You may hear a story here on Bibi and Yaya, which resonates with your life. If so, you can read what other people have posted to help you with your own personal situation. These personal stories are real. People need advice, and you have the opportunity to help them with your comments or solutions. Today's story comes to us from Susan, who must deal with a secret that her husband has been hiding from her for some time. Susan and her husband spend their time together during the lockdown in their home while working at their jobs and keeping their home intact. However, Susan's husband reveals a secret to her which could indeed topple their marriage. How does Susan cope with this information she receives from her husband? And will it end their marriage? Or is their marriage salvageable? And now, here's Susan's story. Dear Stella, I found out about my husband's extramarital affair during the lockdown. The lockdown had changed our lives in many ways. It brought to light many facets of life as well as made us face some really ugly realities which we had never imagined to be possible. From discovering our inner strength to accepting our weaknesses, this was a period of self-discovery and I am no different. I am a 32-year-old married woman and I have known my husband since my college days. And after seven long years of courtship, we finally decided to get married when we both found stable jobs. Life had never been easy for us and we didn't expect it to be otherwise. However, I had full faith in my husband and our love. But my world was turned upside down during the lockdown. Here's my story. Being a working couple, we hardly had opportunities to spend time with each other. Amidst the fear of the pandemic when the lockdown was announced, I tried looking at the silver lining. At least this would allow me to spend time with my husband. Although we will be working from home, at least we will be near each other and doing things together that we have been planning on for ages. Like rearranging the furniture, watching our favorite movies, and so on. The first week of the lockdown started smoothly. The night before the lockdown, we went grocery shopping and after getting all the essential things, we went out for a drive and returned home happy and a little relaxed after the fear of what the future held for everyone. That loomed large. Also, during that first week of the lockdown, we divided household chores and did our respective office work from the same room. He was a doting husband and helped me in the kitchen with whatever limited skills he had. However, as the week crawled towards the end, I could sense a change in my husband's behavior. There were times I would catch him lost in deep thoughts, mostly staring at the blank screen of his phone. I didn't take it very seriously because even I was growing cranky. Being cooped up indoors for days was affecting everyone's mood and we were no different. But my instinct kept nagging at me and it constantly told me that something was wrong. I then noticed that my husband had started taking longer smoking breaks on the balcony and he preferred to stay alone in a room and whenever I tried to keep him company, he just seemed uninterested and bored. During the second week of the lockdown, we had our first fight, and what really hurt me 
was when my husband accused me of intruding upon his personal space. I was shocked because apart from the moments we were in the bedroom, both of us were busy doing either office work or household chores. It was then I realized he wanted to spend time alone and not with me. That made me more sad than angry. He had never behaved like that. And on the contrary, he always looked forward to the moment we met after returning home from the office. So what had changed? Was it the lockdown or something else? I didn't have to wait long for an answer. One night after we went to bed, my husband excused himself, saying he was going for a smoking break. Instead of using the balcony attached to our bedroom, he went to the balcony that was near the guest room. As he was about to leave our room, I could hear a phone vibrating, and the sound came from the pocket of his pajamas. We all get messages or calls at night, either from our parents, friends, and on rare occasions from colleagues. I was not shocked or surprised in knowing about the late night messages. What took me aback was the fact that my husband's phone was on our nightstand. And as far as I knew, he had only one phone. So whose phone was he carrying? The cat was out of the bag. Rather, I had to force it to come out of the bag when I asked my husband about his other phone. His first reaction was denial. But when I said I heard the phone vibrating, he was caught off guard because I was then holding his other phone. Although the room was dark, I could still see my husband break into a sweat. I demanded to check his other phone, which he handed over to me reluctantly. It had calls and messages from only one unsaved number. The messages were enough to confirm my worst fear. My husband was having an affair. After two days of unbearable silence from me, my husband finally confessed. He said that he used this other phone to use an extramarital dating app where he did indeed meet a woman. He had been having an affair with her for six months and only used this phone to communicate with her, which he did during office hours. He used to leave the phone in his office drawer before coming home. That's the reason why he was never caught. He said he loved me and didn't mean to hurt me. He even promised to cut off all ties with this other woman. He begged me for forgiveness. I don't know if I would be able to get over this, but right now I am seeking online counseling from a psychologist who is also a relationship expert. I don't know whether I should be sad or happy about discovering my husband's lie. I don't know if I will be able to forgive my husband, but one day I will surely find my answers. What an amazing story. Thank you so much to Susan for sharing her story with us. And we wish her much success and happiness. It must have been very difficult for Susan to discover that her husband had been cheating. This can cause much sadness and grief when a spouse learns about their partner's infidelity. How do you think Susan handled this devastating news? Did she do the right thing? Do you think forgiveness is in order? Or should Susan leave her husband? Perhaps you may have the right solution or best advice for Susan. If so, we would like to hear from you. And you can read other people's comments, solutions, and opinions below relating to these real life situations. They could very well mirror your own thoughts or they could be quite different from yours. Remember that by liking and subscribing to Bibi and Yaya, you will hear me read letters every week which people send to us about issues they are dealing with in their lives. These are real life personal stories and people's everyday experiences. And don't forget, if you have a personal story or issue which you would like to share with us, please send us an email using the email provided in the description box below. We would be happy to hear from you and offer advice on how to deal or cope with your personal experience. Thank you for joining us today and see you next time here on BB and Yaya.